What's going on guys? It's Chris back with another video. As you can see, I've been busy here in this office. What I'm trying to do is create a super cool live streaming space. I can either sit in the recliners, uh, I can even have a guest, hit me up if you wanna be a guest. Um, and I just built this rack. This is six 20 gallon talls. I know some of you guys must be thinking like, hey man, you're obsessed with 20 gallon talls. And yes, I am very obsessed with 20 gallon talls, but someone dropped off some really crazy fish yesterday. They're known as giant Danios. By the way, there's a little uh, overlook of my, the space, I don't know. Giant Danios, guys. I got them in the six foot tank. Let's take a look. So someone stopped over a bucket of fish yesterday while I was at work, which is always crazy. Um, you know, you show up to your house and you got a bucket full of fish. I'm super happy. Um, people always do that to me and I absolutely love it. It's kind of a weird scenario. You never know what you're gonna get. Um, I actually did get a bunch of garamis and what have you, but guys, I wanna talk about giant danios. I've never owned this crazy fish. And I gotta say, these things are absolutely like berserk. Um, I've never owned them. It's uh, This is a learning process for me. Yes, there's a black moor fancy double tail goldfish in this tank. Is it ideal to have a bunch of giant Daniels in there that act like crazy uh, convict uh, felons? No. What happens is it stresses out the goldfish, but this is short term because, you know, obviously the fish were dropped off. Um, I'm still kind of doing some research on giant Danios. This is a cold water tank. Obviously it's for, uh, I have guppies and a goldfish in there. I don't know yet if giant Danios need heated water, but they're, they were in a pond. So, and the pond wasn't heated. So I'm guessing they don't need it. But hit up the comment section, guys. Make sure to troll me. If they need tropical temps, please tell me. As you can see, this wood is getting crazy fungus. I need to get like a bristle nose in here or something or a bunch of snails. It kind of sucks, but with this uh, big bait, with this big window during the day, it's inevitable for this tank to get tons of algae. I'm cleaning it nonstop. Also, I am in love with these new little algae scrapers. Um, I've been keeping them on a lot of my tanks and I'll be talking about them a lot more. My goal is, to have them on every single tank. They're like 10 bucks or something, but um, they're, what I like about them is they're little, they're black, and you can barely you can barely tell they're there and they work super well. Like, I just, um, this isn't a, a sales pitch or anything, but um, I'll throw a link in the description box. It is an Amazon, um, it's like a Chinese brand. I can't even remember the name of it, um, but I really like them. So if you guys wanna give it a try, my plan is to have them on every single tank. And, um, yeah, sorry. They work really well. And what's cool is they come with multiple different pads. Uh, look at the zebra danios just going absolutely berserk. It's funny because I just did some videos on these zebra danios and I was researching danios. And funny enough, ironically, someone dropped off some giant danios. Look at this tank. I love that potted look for some reason. This is a giant glob of just trash but this looks really cool i like that and what's what's funny is there's like a snail infestation in this tank right now and the second i threw this thing in there the snails were just like attacking it which is really odd so then i was like well maybe they're hungry so i threw an lg disc in there so uh a lot of questions regarding this uh six 10 gallon tank uh there's a lot of videos coming on this soon i actually have a new plant sponsor that i'm gonna be deep diving doing a bunch of plant species care guides that you guys get bored of um i promise you though there's going to be a podcast coming soon let me know in the let me know in the comment section do you want uh you know because my next goal is to be more personable on this channel do you want a podcast in this style do you want me to be sitting at my desk do you want just me do you want a guest um etc etc please let me know in the comments so um all the nano tanks are doing great a lot of people have been asking to see all the tanks i'm never gonna show you all the tanks guys um the pea puffers down here are doing amazing um uh a, a lot of people were skeptical about this setup for the pea puffers but guys there's four or five of them in here and there's so much coverage with the floating plant roots the water lettuce roots that like i feel like it is so ideal for them because there's just so many hiding spots come on buddy come on buddy i gotta feed these guys soon they are just the cutest little effers ever um there's the other one i gotta feed them 
They're so little though. Like, I don't know if I'm on board with the pea puffers yet because it's like, they're half the size of a guppy. And like, I look at the tank and look at that little guy, you just barely see what's in there. And it's just like, I just don't know if it's for me. Also, I picked up some frog bit and I'm trying to perfect it. I've failed a couple times. I've been trying different spectrums of lightings. It's funny how um, some people fail at just a certain plant or a certain fish. And frog bite, frog bit, whatever, I, I don't even know how you pronounce it. Frog bit, I think it is. Um, I cannot perfect this. It's the only plant that I can't perfect yet. But um, this Java moss uh, isn't looking the greatest, but I'm trying to bring it back. I had, I had, if you guys remember, I had Java moss pieces the size of soccer balls. And then they went totally south on me because I think algae just attacked them. So then I spread them apart and now I'm trying to, uh, I just went full cracking on it. I just, it's a hot mess. This tank is a beautiful, beautiful tank. No, I'm kidding. I don't know, I did some uh, crazy testing on this. I can't even remember what I had in here, but I, I had it outside. I had a plant that wasn't doing well in any of my tanks. So I'm like, well, screw it. I'm gonna throw it outside because that will prove, you know, like if not, if real sun can grow it, then it, it's fine. And it's just me, it's something I'm doing. But the plant died. So maybe it was something funky with the plant. <sighs> but guys, giant Daniels. These things are berserk, dude. Like they never stop moving. Let's see if I can get a closer, a closer, cause like the, the color variants are kind of coming out in them because they were in a pond that was probably super cold this time of year in Minnesota. And I'm guessing just being in, in here, you know, it's probably 72, 73, that this is a lot better of a scenario for them. And you know, it's kind of crazy. I'm doing research on them, but the best way to learn fish is just by like, just uh, sometimes just uh, just throwing them in your lap, sort of say, and that's what's happening here. Just, you know, without doing a ton of research, I can tell you that just by how much they move, you're probably gonna want a 55 gallon tank minimum just because the span at which they move is just absurd. And for a fish to be that exercise that much, uh, a, you know, you want a larger tank. Like you couldn't put that thing, you couldn't put those in a 40 gallon breeder. It'd be crazy. Ah, that algae's really bothering me. But yeah, I also have the plant rack here. Um, uh, my new girlfriend is really into house plants and she's helping me. I'm not the best at it, but <clears throat> I also have three plants up here. Just your generic pothos, spider, and another pothos. It's it's just super easy stuff, guys. It's uh, and even she even told me the other day that I have spider mites in a couple of my plants, so. I can't even effectively do that. So now we have to fight spider mites. Uh, there would be a better view here if it was daytime, but it's nighttime. I'm a night owl tonight. This is one of those Amazon Chinese grow lights. It, it's doing okay. I still don't know what I wanna do up here. My girlfriend's trying to talk me into doing like a reptile enclosure or maybe like building a custom snake cage. Ah, I don't know, man. Reptiles and reptiles, I don't know. I don't know. Also the tanks over here. A lot of people have been asking, how many tanks do I have set up now in the, in the upstairs? And I think it's around 30 now, but people are dying to know downstairs and it's still in the just entire construction phase. So just please give me some time. Uh, these, plant, these tanks are pretty generic. That's the Marineland seven gallon. I got a couple of those around the house here. But yeah, things are going good here. I've just been slowly propagating plants. I've been buying new plants. As you can see, I've just been utterly obsessed with plants. I got a new plant sponsor for the channel. I know a lot of you guys are just bugging because I'm a cichlid guy and I used to do predator videos on piranhas killing things, but um, that's gonna be more or less downstairs. I do have, um, I am doing a big plywood tank downstairs. I haven't really, uh, uh, that is gonna be in the mix. I'm probably gonna do uh, concrete blocks like Joey, um, but there's gonna be more to come. There's just so much, you know, I haven't even lived in this house a year yet, guys. I haven't lived in this house a year yet. It's been like nine months. So I built, first of all, I redid all the flooring. This is all carpet and crappy uh, car linoleum, asbestos linoleum. I ripped all that out. I built this, I built this. Um, I built this entire office. There was shag carpet in here. It was ridiculous. 
and uh, I, I put new linoleum down, which isn't fancy or anything, but still, it's a lot of work. I painted everything, I built that custom vine. Like, I've been relentlessly building this stuff. So to all the haters that are just like, what's taking so long? Like, uh, uh, prove me that you can do things faster and just more relentless than me. Um, and I'm still publishing a video almost every single day. I'm ranting, it's not even needed. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section. Ooh, you can hear the police. Ooh, maybe they're coming for me. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think of Giant Daniels. Help, help give me some tidbits. I've never kept these guys before. Jeez, someone's, someone's going to jail tonight. Ooh, at least they're not, oh, is that the fire truck? I don't know. It's been a big change for me, like living so far in this city because I mean, I live in the country. You guys remember that. But uh, let me know in the comment section, Giant Daniels, if you've kept them before um, or just give me some help. I need it.